afternoon out of Washington, Secretary of Defense Mark Esper is addressing the protests over the death of George Floyd, breaking with President Trump. He says he's opposed to using active duty troops to quell large demonstrations across the U.S. It all comes after President Trump recently threatened to deploy the military to enforce order. In D.C., protesters coming face to face with the National Guard at the Lincoln Memorial. When is the change going to come? And outside the White House. I can't breathe. A calmer scene than a day earlier. When protesters were tear gassed and pushed in order to make way for the president to have a photo op in front of historic St. John Episcopal Church. Sources say it was Attorney General Bill Barr who instructed police to clear out the protesters. The fallout of that photo op is growing. The former chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mike Mullen, calling it a stunt and saying he was sickened, adding that the president, quote, laid bare his disdain for the rights of peaceful protest in this country. Former President George W. Bush also speaking out in support of protesters, saying, quote, It remains a shocking failure that many African Americans, especially young African American men, are harassed and threatened in their own country. It is a strength when protesters, protected by responsible law enforcement, march for a better future. And pictured alongside the president, Defense Secretary Mark Esper, because of that, a former top policy official at the Pentagon, James Miller, resigned from his role on the Defense Advisory Board, claiming the photo showed Esper's support of law enforcement clearing out protesters. But this morning, Esper says he had no idea about plans to disperse protesters and said he had no notice before the president led him to the church. I do everything I can to try to stay apolitical and to try and stay out of situations uh, that may appear political. And uh, sometimes I'm successful at doing that, and, uh, and sometimes I'm not as successful. But my aim is to keep the department out of politics to stay apolitical. And after the president threatened to invoke the Insurrection Act, which would deploy active duty troops to put an end to protests across the nation, as per breaking with Trump, saying he does not support that. The option to use active duty forces in a law enforcement role should only be used as a matter of last resort and only in the most urgent and dire of situations. We are not in one of those situations now. I do not support invoking the Insurrection Act. The president tweeting law and order again this morning and with Election Day five months away, the president making this claim, saying my administration has done more for the black community than any president since Abraham Lincoln. Now, sources say it was the president's idea to visit the church for a photo op. Meanwhile, as the president urges states to use the National Guard to handle protests, several states, including Virginia, New York, Pennsylvania, and Delaware, have all turned down the request.